Hi everyone and welcome to my back room. It's actually the second time that I'm filming this video because the first time I forgot to turn my mic on so I have a great speech of 10 minutes without any sound. But today I am in my bathroom and I've been wanting to film this video ever since we moved in. The bathroom is one of the rooms where we did the most work because it was very old, very outdated and I spent so much time in my bathroom that I knew I wanted a place that I love. And this is actually even better than what I hoped for. This is exactly what my dream bathroom would be like and it's actually my dream bathroom. So. I wanted to film a full bathroom tour today, but we actually have some shelves that need to go at the end of the bathroom over there. They are downstairs, I need to pin them and install them, so the bathroom is not completely done yet. But today I'm going to show you what I have in these cabinets just above my sink. These are from IKEA, the sinks as well and the bathroom unit as well. As usual, I will link everything in the down bar below, so make sure to check that out. So this is my side of the sink and this is how it looks like on the inside. If you've been watching my vlogs, you might know that last weekend I did a big purge in it because um, I'm already, I was already conscious about the ingredients in my skincare, this is something very important for me. And I actually finished a book last week, it was called No More Dirty Looks, and it goes over all the harmful ingredients in your skincare and your cosmetic products. And I actually came in here, took a lot of products and got rid of them just because I wasn't comfortable using them anymore. So this is everything that I'm using and loving at the moment. So we're gonna get started because we have a lot to go through. I won't be going through every single one of the products, I'm just going, going to go for the ones that I prefer, but I will link everything like where you can purchase the products. If I have review on my blog, everything will be in the description box down below. So on this bottom shelf, I keep face oils, I keep face moisturizer, a couple of eye and lip products, and then some serums. So face oils are very important for me because I have very dry skin. The one I'm loving at the moment is the Nude Rescue Oil. This is absolutely wonderful. I always have a bottle of Josie Maran Argan Oil Light. This is just the best thing for my skin. And at the moment, I'm actually using an overnight oil. This is from Caudalie Polyphenol C15 Overnight Detox Oil. This is wonderful to use during the colder month. I keep some First Aid Beauty Facial Regions pads. I actually love these. I didn't expect to. We really wanted to try them because I was curious. I absolutely adore them. I have a couple of face moisturizer. This one is the one that I use during the day. This is a Caudalie Polyphenol C15 Broad Spectrum Protect Fluid. It's very light but still moisturizing. But this one is the best one I've used. This is from Antipodes and it's the Rejoice Light Facial Day Cream. It has some organic ingredients as well. Everything is natural and it does wonders on my skin. I have a couple of eye cream, one from Benefit, matching one from Caudalie. I have some ERS lip balms, I absolutely adore these. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is one of my must-have, I always have a bottle of these in my bathroom. And at the moment I'm trying this one from the Yehide, this is the Hydrogenist Moisturizing Serum. I use it before my face cream in the morning and I really enjoy it. On the shelf on top of that I keep my little timer for my toothbrush. I have a couple of face mist slash toners, cleansers and cleansing oils. So um, toners, I love La Roche Posay Seracin, always have, have that on hand. A uh, Pixie Glow Tonic, I'm not too fan of, I'm gonna uh, finish it and then repurchase the Clarence one, which I really enjoy. The Jonic Lavender Hydrating Mist is just lovely. I've been using it for a couple of months and I absolutely love it. Michael Todd's Organics is a really good brand if you want to go for natural beauty products. This is available in the stickets and they have some incredible products. Josie Marans, once and again, I love Josie's product. This is the Argan Creamy Oil Cleansing Treatment. This is very heavy and very thick, but it's wonderful if you have dry skin. Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel, I think everyone knows about this. This is a new micellar water that I got in my glossy box or my duty box. It's wonderful. It's from a brand that I never heard of before. This is Karma Minchu Star Age Defense Micellar Water. Great ingredients, it smells lovely and it does the job. Behind that I have the Nude Cleansing Oil, Josie Marin Argan Cleansing Oil, Superficialist by Una Brennan Vitamin C Plus Brighton, 
Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. This is the longest name ever, but it's actually a great drugstore cleansing oil. And then I have Estee Lauder Take It Away uh, Makeup Remover. This is great if you have a very heavy eye makeup. Then on top of that, I have some products that I use once or twice a week. So I have all my face masks. I have some from Superfectualist by Kevin Brennan. Antipode Manuka Honey Mask is wonderful if you have dry skin. Uh, Isop Parsley Seed is a great cleansing mask. This one is actually a new one that I also got in a subscription box that I love. This is a Hey Honey Take It Off Exfoliating Honey Peel Off Mask. Leave it on for 15 minutes, you can peel it off and you feel like your skin is very clean and very nice afterwards. Uh, Rain Flash Rinse 1 Minute Facial, I have a full on review of that on my blog so I will link that below. I have some spot removers from Origins and Clinic, some samples. Heavy duty moisturizer, I have Cicoplast and 8 hours cream, just in case I have very dry patches or I want to help with scaring. I have Boschia Exfoliating Peel Gel, this is a great product with acids and it's more on the natural side of things. Alpha H Liquid Gold, always have that on hand, as well as the Clarins Liquid Bronze Soft Tanning for the face, best thing ever. On top of that, I have a couple of body products, I have all my deodorants. I have this dry brush from Aromatherapy Associates. Use that every single morning before I hop on the shower. I absolutely love it. I have Nuke Sweet Prodigious, always have that, it's one of my staples. I have the Clarins Renew Plus Body Serum. I have a moisturizer from Syntrope, and then I have a body contouring um, cream from Ren. And on the top, I just have random products that I mainly use when I'm traveling. Okay, so this is not the easiest part, but I'm gonna show you what I keep on top of my sink. I have the Lavender and Love Age Candle from Germelin. absolutely love that. I have the Super Skin Oil from L'Occitane as well as the Milk Concentrate. I have full review of these on my blog in case you're curious. I have a hand soap from Another Stories. My Clarisonic with a cashmere brush, these are just the best. And then I have my toothbrush over there. This is the first drawer that I have. I'm gonna quickly go over everything. Uh, cotton buds, cotton pads, elastics for my hair, a couple of um, hair clips whenever I need to like part my hair or to like blow dry. I have a couple of hair brushes. I have this little thing that I leave in my handbag whenever I leave. It has my clear uh, braces, toothbrush, um, toothpaste and floss. I have this little box from Muji, which has a lot of like, pins and things like that. I have some muslin cloth, some face towels. This is everything that has to do with tooth. So I have toothbrushes. I have this little thing to like um, clean my braces. Toothpaste, mouthwash. I have nail file, a lot of lip balms. I have my epilator. This is the silk uh, epil 9 from Brown. Really like it. And then in this drawer, I have all my hair stuff. So I have shampoos and conditioner from Red Can. I have a couple of masks. I have uh, the CC cream from Clarence Daz, which I really love. I have the Sea Mist from John Masters Organic. This is a great brand if you're looking for natural organic hair products. I have uh, products from Living Proof, another brand that I really like. And on this side, I have my self-tanner. I use the Syntrope self Tan Express Rising Moon. I have a couple of um, SPF, you never know. I have some brushes from my Clarisonic. I have this pouch where I keep all my samples and small uh, products to take with me whenever I'm traveling. And that's about it, really. So, yeah. If you have any questions or remarks, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. You can also tweet me or reach me on social media at Style Playground. All the links are in the description box down below. And I guess I will see you next time, everyone. Bye!